Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be the first in a six part series of um, a deep detail. Um, hopefully it'll give you some helps, some help, some hints, some tips. Uh, show you how we go about it here at DEP Auto Care. So this is the first one, this is an engine bay detail and it's going to be done on this lovely 2003 BMW M3. So first things first guys, we're going to identify um, any exposed electricals and we're going to cover them up with, I'm just using um, plastic sandwich bags, it doesn't have to be anything special or um, anything like that, Just these are just standard plastic sandwich bags. So we're going to identify uh, different areas underneath the engine, underneath the bonnet or the hood, wherever you're watching, um, and we're going to cover up all parts that could possibly get damaged when we come to use a pressure washer, or as well as the all-purpose cleaner, which we'll get to shortly. Now there was three areas underneath this engine bay, underneath this hood, sorry, um, where I identified that there could be risk from water getting into the electrics. The first was at the top left, next to the brake cylinder. Um, there was a, a load of exposed components there. Uh, and then just at the front left, as you're looking at it anyway, um, there is two um, un, what look, looked like unwaterproofed plugs. So they were they were bagged as well, um, just to eliminate any issues after. And on the right hand side at the front underneath the, the hood, um, there was two rubber grommets which had came loose. So I went and grabbed a screwdriver and put the, the rubber grommets back in just to make it watertight again. So here guys what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all the loose debris that's underneath the, the, the bonnet, the hood. Um, so we're going to use the jet wash for that just to give it a quick, just a quick rinse through. Uh, the pressure is down um, so it's not going to cause any major things to fly off or anything like that. Remember we've already covered up any electrical parts so this bit, contrary to popular belief, is not really any issue at all. Um, so we'll, we'll mess about with the, the pressures a wee bit and then we'll go around all the edges, blast out the leaves, any loose debris, anything that's uh, that sh shouldn't really be there to be honest. Knock off the dust um, and after that we'll get into it with the, uh, the all-purpose cleaner. So at this stage we're going to spray the whole engine bay with some all-purpose cleaner. Uh, the all-purpose cleaner I'm using today is from Infinity Wax. It's, uh, it's called uh, APX. Absolutely phenomenal cleaner. Uh, breaks down most things, no problem. So all you're doing is spraying it on, leaving it for a few seconds, uh, and then we're going to agitate it with a variety of different brushes. Uh, we've got some detailing brushes uh, and we've got a small wheel brush um, which I'll use later on to get into all the little crevices and cracks that I can't get to with the normal brush.
So I bet you guys have realised by now, this is not rocket science. Um, see, as long as you're careful with the pressure washer, don't take it too close in, not blasting everything out of the way. Um, all you're doing is spraying all-purpose cleaner under the bonnet, under the hood, agitating with a few brushes, getting into all the wee crevices that you can, rinsing it off again, not too close with the pressure washer, but that's common sense, isn't it, guys? Really, um, rinsing it off. Uh, I used the the blowing function on my Titan vacuum. Uh, just to help blow some of the excess standing water away um, before I went over it with a drying towel. And one more thing guys, don't forget to clean the actual boot, the bonnet slash hood. Um, there's no point in doing a nice clean engine bay if all the dirt is going to fall back off the actual physical bonnet slash hood itself. So don't forget to do these wee bits as well guys. Here we go with a quick rinse down. Remember, common sense prevails guys. Not too close in. 
not too heavy a pressure. All you want to do is rinse off the excess all-purpose cleaner that you've just used um, to clean the engine bay. Now on this one, I actually opted for a second round of all-purpose cleaner um, just to make sure um, I hadn't missed any bits. Because you know yourself, when plastic gets wet, it looks cleaner than it actually is. When it starts to dry, you start to see those little bits of dust that you've maybe missed or uh, a wee bit of dirt that you didn't scrub off. Um, nothing major. So again, it's just going in with the the crevice tool or the wheel brush um, and the the little detail brushes just to just to make sure you've got everything covered um, so that uh, your customers happy when they come back So now guys we're going to use the Titan vacuum with the blowing function and um, we're going to use that to blow uh, some high speed air. Granted, by the way, before I, all the haters start commenting, it's not a master blaster, it's a vacuum with a blowing function. But it does the job. Um, it helps blow out any excess water um, from any wee nooks and crannies that water might have gathered or anything like that. Um, it really is a great help, uh, and it gets the it gets the plastics more or less, um, more or less dry, before we go in with a microfiber towel, just to mop up any excess water that's still lying about in the engine bay. I should also mention that using the blower is not essential. I'm only using it because I have one. Um, if you're looking for one, you can pick up a Titan vacuum with blow function at Screwfix for $44.99 at the moment. Um, that's where I got mine because my last um, vacuum uh, broke down on me. So, But yeah, this is not an essential part of the, the engine bay detail in any in, in the least um, it just so happens that I have one that's it
So you notice at this point, um, I'm just going over some uh, all-purpose cleaning again and a brush. Uh, just any little bits that I've noticed that have uh, have not been cleaned properly or are just not to my satisfaction, really, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it's been a bit nitpicking. Uh, I'm not in any time constraints today. Um, I've got this car for uh, a good two days. Um, so, But again, we're not looking for perfection due to budgets. Um, we're just a general tidy up. Uh, we're not going to polish the struts. We're not going to uh, polish the the headlights. As you can probably tell from this angle, there's a bit of hazing on the headlights. Um, we're just going to go. Now we've blown it. We're just going to go over it with a old microfiber towel, which I got out the back of the van. Uh, we're just going to double check we've got all the water off. Uh, and then after this stage, we will go to the dressing stage. So this bit we're at the now, mate, guys, we're just dressing the plastics, really. Um, and I will be perfectly honest with you, there is no big massive names here. Um, this is Carplan Plastic Restorer. Cheap and cheerful from Halfords, guys. Um, but you don't need to go spending uh, or using real brand name stuff, in my opinion, underneath the bonnet and the hood. When nobody's generally going to see it very often.
just on to a, a second application of this um, this plastics dressing. Um, it has been decanted into older bottles, by the way, uh, so it's not Power Max winter coat that I'm using <laughs> under the bonnet. Um, it's just Halford's um, trade uh, plastic cleaner, plastic restorer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I might later on, um, once I've done the bodywork and I've got the the Infinity Wax and plastic wax out, um, I might give some of the plastics that are going over with that stuff because that's that's pretty good stuff. That to be honest, uh, and it's got it's got good longevity on it. So that's us uh, more or less come to the the end of this engine detail. Just have a quick a quick um, pan round with the, the the camera just to show you some of the ins and outs of it, and show you what we've been up to and what we've managed to achieve. But I think anyone um, would have to agree that that looks a thousand times better than when we started this, um, with all the dust and all the dirt on it. And like I say, guys, there's no expensive stuff being used here. Um, it's Infinity Wax all-purpose cleaner, uh, mixed um, five to one, uh, and some Halfords Trade um, plastic cleaners and plastic dresses. Just a quick note to say, guys, this video is twin is 30 minutes long, um, but I was stopping. I was moving cameras, doing different angles. This engine bay detail can be done in 15 minutes. Yeah, this is the fun part. Making sure it starts. That just goes to show you guys, if you 
uh, cover up all your electrics properly, you won't have any hassles at all. It's all common sense, there's no specialist thing here. Um, make sure you don't blast the water in too hard. Make sure you cover up all your electricals uh, and make sure you dry it down properly after. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you like this video please subscribe. Smash the thumbs up button um, if you want to see more stuff. And hit the bell icon, it means every time I upload a video, which at the moment is quite a bit, um, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So the next, this is part one of a, a five or six part series. Uh, the next part will be the engine and bodywork decontamination. And I will leave you with a couple of shots of before and after. <laughs>